The following tutorial is for Alan Bradley PLCs using the Studio 5000 Logix Designer. This video will show how to use the DDO AOI. The DDO AOI allows the user to change data on the fly. Please ensure that the AOIs have already been installed. If the AOIs have not been installed, please see the How to Install AOIs video. In order to proceed, a home position would need to be set on the driver. You can set up the home position using the P preset input or the home preset switch on the drive. Once that has been done, we can now begin by opening the Studio 5000 software. In the controller organizer section, we can open the main routine window. Make sure the mode of operation located in the controller faceplate is set to offline. Expand the assets folder and drag over the OMAZ DDO AOI. The local tag for the AOI can be set by double clicking the first box. In this example, we will name the AOI tag OMAXIS1 DDO. Right click the created tag and click New OMAXIS1 DDO. A new window will appear displaying the new tag. Click Create to proceed. Next, we will have to set up the implicit message input by clicking the second box. Expand OM axis 1i and select OM axis 1i data. The data type should be in the int format. This sets the location of the implicit message inputs. Click on the third box. Expand OM axis 10 and select OM axis 10 data. The data type should be in the int format. This sets the location of the implicit message output. Now we can begin to change the operation parameters. To do this, we will change the mode of operation to remote run and click download. A warning window will appear notifying the user of any possible data changes and unexpected equipment operation. Please ensure that the equipment is ready before proceeding and click download. A second window will appear regarding the change to remote run. Click yes to continue. In this example, we can see that the motor is currently in position zero. We will begin by moving an increment of 10,000 steps. In order to do this, you will set 10,000 into the set position and enter a value of one into the set exe. Looking at the read feedback position, the position should now be 10,000. Let's move an additional 5,000 steps by repeating this process. The set operation type allows the user to switch from incremental to absolute positioning. We can change our operation type to be absolute positioning. Let's move to an absolute position of 5,000 steps. Enter a value of 1 for the set operation type. The motor will now move in the absolute position of 5,000 steps. The speed can also be changed on the fly. Let's move to position 15,000 steps at a rate of 5,000 Hz. The absolute position is now 15,000. We can also go back to home with the current settings by entering a set position value of 0. We are now able to change data on the fly using the DDO AOI. This completes this section. Thank you for watching and please check out our other tutorials.